Mr. Cole, born in New York City, 45 years old. He was a founding member of the Screenwriters Guild and served on its executive board as president and vice president. When he was summoned by the House Committee, he was a valued writer at this film studio, signed to a new contract to write and produce on that very day. Author of 40 screenplays, among them Romance of Rosie Ridge, Objective Burma, None shall escape. He is now in prison. Samuel Ornitz, 60 years of age, born in New York, novelist and screenwriter, lecturer and scholar. Author of a classical fictional study of American Jewish life, of a tender story for children, of a book whose hero was lynched by anti-Catholic bigots. As a social worker, he spent many years with the Prison Association in New York, helping thousands of people to get out of prison. He is now in prison himself. Adrian Scott, screenwriter and motion picture producer. Born in New Jersey, 39 years old. This film studio considered Scott's services invaluable. His films were successful and celebrated. Do you remember Crossfire? It was not to the taste of J. Parnell Thomas. Now Adrian Scott, too, is in a federal prison. Alva Bessie, born in New York, age 46. Newspaper man, novelist, critic, and screenwriter. In the year 1938, he made his way across the Pyrenees as a volunteer for democracy. On the witness stand in Washington, he said, I not only supported the Spanish Republic, but it was my high privilege to serve in the ranks of its international brigades. He returned to the United States to write an account of that war and in the Second World War served as second lieutenant in the Civil Air Patrol, Los Angeles Squadron 3. He wrote films as a contract writer for Warner Brothers Studios. He is now in prison. Edward Dimitri, 41 years old, motion picture director. These films and many others were directed by Edward Dimitri. As a reward for his distinguished contribution to world films, one year in prison. Ring Lardner, Jr., born in Chicago, 34 years old. Two of his brothers died in separate chapters of the world struggle for democracy. 
One as a volunteer in the Loyalist forces in Spain, the other in Germany as an American war correspondent. Himself, author of a dozen screenplays, for one of which he received the highest award of the film industry. This film he wrote for a trade union to advance the idea of the equality of all races, of all nationalities. Ring Lardner, Jr. is now a federal prisoner. John Howard Lawson, born in New York City, 56 years old. Volunteer ambulance driver in Italy in the First World War. Author of nine plays. Author of many screenplays. Perhaps you remember some of them. A teacher, scholar, historian. He completed the first volume of A History of American Culture just before he entered prison. This is Mrs. Lawson. She and their children will wait for him. Herbert Biberman, 50 years old, born in Philadelphia. He directed plays for the Theatre Guild, the leading theatrical organization of America. He produced and directed films for various motion picture companies. And he was the organizer of the Hollywood Anti-Nazi League, one of the first groups to warn the world against Hitlerism. Always, he devoted his energies to decency and humanity. He is now in a federal prison. Dalton Trumbo, born in Colorado, 44 years old, writer of novels. A writer of pamphlets in the tradition of Zola and Thoreau. Writer of films. Kitty Foyle, a guy named Joe, 30 seconds over Tokyo. War correspondent in the South Pacific. Special consultant at the first United Nations conference in 1945. Five years later, he said goodbye to his family to go to prison. Ten men. What was their crime? Why are they in prison? There were two questions. Listen. Now, Mr. Trumbo. Are you a member of the screen right? Right of you. Mr. Strubling, the right of American labor to inviolably secret membership list has been won in this country by a great cost of blood and a great cost in terms of hunger. Are you now, have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? Unless it has been changed since yesterday. In our country, we have a secret ballot. And I do not believe this committee has any more right to inquire into my political affiliations than I believe that an election official has the right to go into the voting booth and examine the ballot which has been marked by the voter. No, 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 no. No. Thus, J. Parnell Thomas. He has been put in prison as a common thief. But the ten, do they belong there?